What is good guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video We're gonna be dialing the clock back a little bit and just kind of do a little bit of an old-school style of clothing haul As I did pick up two new garments from the house of fear of God now as many of you may already know It is end of season and with that comes with a variety of end of season sales with that I will be providing all the links to purchase this stuff in the description below prices are pretty crazy right now And uh, they're just too good not to share now speaking of too good not to share if you hadn't heard already I did recently launch my watch company known as aura the intention with aura is to shake up the watch industry bringing forth the highest value watches on the planet our watches are made from 316 L stainless steel feature a sapphire glass face and a self-winding bi-directional automatic movement providing you the wearer with an 80 hour power reserve yes that means a super smooth movement with no batteries needed ever this puts aura wash directly in competition with watches that are significantly more expensive at a marginal fraction of those prices we actually just released a myriad of different new straps so you can have that modular element make the watches your own so go ahead and hit the link below check out our watches see what we have to offer this is going to be the best way to support me as a creator as I don't take sponsors anymore here on this channel but moving on to the first pickup of the day no it's not the bomber jacket we're actually gonna be taking a look at the fear of God eternal cowboy boot. The fear of God cowboy boot does sell at a retail price of $895 and is currently on sale anywhere from 600 all the way down to 350 bucks. I think that's right around what I paid for my pair. And guys, for a pair of boots, made in Italy, comprised of Napa leather. This boot, in my opinion, was an excellent purchase. Now, there might be a little bit of bias to that because who wants to regret a purchase after all? I define the shoe as a contemporary twist on a Western style of shoe. It does feature sleek lines, a narrow silhouette, and an elongated toe. And to me, the shoe does bridge the gap between a classic and avant-garde boot, making them a perfect wardrobe staple, wearable with anything from smart casual to a little bit dressed up and suiting. As for sizing, I did take a size 41. I range anywhere from an eight and a half to a nine. This 41 does have a little bit of room, so I probably could have gone with a 40, but I do like a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to shoes that are a bit more narrow in shape. With that to say, definitely happy with this purchase. I love it so much that I might even wear it at my wedding, but that's only assuming that I don't find something else down the line. But yeah, overall, just an excellent boot. And in my opinion, a $350 well spent. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this pickup. And now on to the bomb. So this garment here is what is known as the Fear of God Eternal Bomber. And I don't mean to jump the gun, but this might be one of the best purchases I have made in a very long time. The Fear of God Eternal Bomber sets at a retail price of $1,550. Yes, this is a very expensive bomber. However, if you use the links down below, you can find this bomber from anywhere between, I want to say like $1,200 all the way down to $700. I think I paid $850 for this one here. It's a lot of money, do not get me wrong, but I don't regret this purchase. It is a fantastic bomber. And at the end of the day, when something just fits so well, when you have a garment that is timeless in nature, that being this bomber jacket, it's cut to fit just immaculately, is comprised of the best materials for that respective piece. You just can't really regret spending whatever it takes to get this bomber. And realistically, had I known this bomber was this good, I would have paid full retail price. That is how much I love this bomber. I did get a few people asking about sizing. For me personally, I went true to size four and 10 fit. I to take a small in all things fear of God. This is a small and I find that it fits perfect. It's really quite interesting because I find this piece to be somewhat of a paradox through and through. Sophisticated elegance, yet very much so streetwear. It fits totally relaxed, but has a tailored element to it. As if this jacket was just made with a perfect proportion to fit your body. The design details do include the standing baseball collar, rib knit trim, 
100% nylon composition and front zip closure. And at this point, you might be thinking, Paul, it's just like any other old bomber just made in Italy. And you're not entirely wrong, but there's just something when it comes to the attention to detail, cut, the proportion, and everything that comes along with that makes Fear of God such a special brand. Now, let me reiterate, just because I don't regret purchasing this bomber doesn't mean it isn't expensive. It is very expensive, even at that sale price. So for that reason, I'm currently working on a video for cheaper alternatives and I found this bomber that's cut very very similarly to this fear of God bomber so what I would encourage you to do is to go ahead and like today's video and subscribe my channel with notifications on I'm working on a video you don't want to miss it there's going to be a lot of awesome alternatives to some of this very expensive stuff I think you're gonna love that video but that's gonna conclude it for this video of my recent pickups around the fear of God eternal bomber as well as the fear of God eternal cowboy boots you guys let me know down below what you guys think about these recent acquisitions I'm certainly very very excited about it go ahead and hit the links below to go ahead and shop this stuff on sale as well as to my watch company aura this right here is the greatest proposition I could possibly offer you if you own an aura watch go ahead and comment down below what y'all think but anyways, I digress. I'm going to catch you guys in the next upload. Thank you so much for allowing me to continue to make content as well as products for you guys. It really is insanely humbling and I consider it a major privilege. I'll catch you in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.